Have you ever felt like you're always the backup plan and never the priority in someone's life? That feeling where it seems like everyone else's needs and wishes come first and you're left wondering if you truly matter to them at all? Today, we're going to tackle this head on. It's not just about feeling valued, it's about understanding the subtle art of becoming irresistible, transforming into someone people naturally prioritize and cherish. We're not talking about changing who you are, but rather about enhancing the incredible person you already are if you've ever felt overlooked or undervalued. This video is your game changer. By the end of our journey today, you'll have a whole new perspective on how to be seen, heard and valued in every relationship. So ditch the invisibility cloak and grab your pen. We're rewriting your story, one powerful rule at a time. Hit that subscribe button and buckle up, because this is the journey from background noise to unforgettable. You ready? Let's go rule one, the art of mystery and the journey to becoming someone. People can't forget the first step is mastering the art of mystery. Now, when we say mystery, we're not talking about being secretive or hiding who you are. It's about revealing yourself gradually, like a story that unfolds one chapter at a time. This approach sparks curiosity and keeps people interested in learning more about you. Think about it this way. When you meet someone new and they share everything about themselves right away, there's less to discover later. But if they reveal their stories, dreams and thoughts bit by bit, each meeting becomes an opportunity to learn something new and exciting about them. It's this gradual process of learning that keeps our interest alive. The Stoic philosophers understood the power of restraint. Marcus Aurelius, for instance, believed in the virtue of temperance. Rule 1. Master the art of mystery, not revealing everything at once, but rather sharing thoughts and insights thoughtfully and at the right moments. This doesn't mean you're hiding your true self. Instead, you're giving people the chance to understand and appreciate the depth of your personality over time. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This can be applied to how we share ourselves with others. Enjoy the present moments of interaction without the need to rush and reveal everything about your future plans, past experiences or deepest thoughts. Let these things come out naturally as your relationships grow. The art of mystery is not about creating a false persona or being intentionally elusive. It's about understanding that your life story is valuable and sharing it should be done with care and consideration. Like a skilled storyteller, you want for the layers of your character experiences and beliefs in a way that invites others to want to know more to be part of your narrative. This approach to interaction creates a magnetic appeal. People are naturally drawn to those who intrigue them, to those who leave a little to the imagination. It's like the joy of reading a good book. You're eager to turn the page to see what's next by practicing the art of mystery. You become that captivating book leaving people looking forward to every new chapter in your story. Rule two, show your value. The second rule in becoming a priority in others' lives is to demonstrate your value. This isn't about boasting or pretending to be someone you're not. It's about showing that you are unique and important just like everyone else and that your presence in someone's life is something special. Think of it this way. Things that are easily available to us, we often take for granted, but those that are rare, that require effort to obtain, we value more. This rule is about showing that you are like that rare, valuable treasure. It means living your life in a way that shows you respect and value yourself. When you do this, others will start to see and respect your value too. Marcus Aurelius, a wise Stoic philosopher once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This means focusing on what you can control, your actions, your beliefs, your strengths. When you understand your own worth and don't depend on others to validate it, you naturally become more appealing. Seneca also taught us about the value of time and how it reflects our self-worth. He said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it by choosing not to waste your time on people who don't appreciate you. You show that your time is valuable. This doesn't mean you should 
Rule two, show your value, be arrogant or dismissive. Instead, engage deeply with those who respect and value your time and energy. Moreover, Epictetus, another great Stoic, emphasized the importance of self-reliance. We cannot control the world, but we can control our reactions in the context of relationships. This means not seeking approval or validation from others, but finding it within yourself. When you are self-reliant and confident, people are more likely to see you as someone of value in practice. This rule is about living with dignity, self-respect and confidence. It's about knowing your worth and not being afraid to show it in a humble but firm way. When you respect yourself, set healthy boundaries and pursue your own goals with determination, you naturally attract the respect and attention of others. They see you not just as another person, but as someone important and worth investing in. This is how you start to become a priority in their lives. Rule three, create your own happiness. The third rule to becoming a priority in others' lives is about finding and creating your own happiness. This rule is fundamental because when you are happy within yourself, you naturally become more attractive to others. This isn't about pretending to be happy. It's about genuinely finding what brings joy to your life and pursuing it. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, taught that happiness comes from within. He said the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This means that your joy doesn't depend on others. It starts with your own thoughts and attitude towards life when you focus on positive thoughts and find happiness in your own actions and achievements. You project a kind of confidence and contentment that draws people in. Seneca also emphasized the importance of being content with oneself. He believed that true happiness is self-generated and not reliant on external factors.